Good morning everyone. Um, it's very early, Monday morning. I just decided to film all day today, bring you guys along to see what a day in the life looks like. It's currently 6.29. Molly is still in bed. Of course. Why would she be up at this time? I'm up now. I'm going to get my running, early morning run, about four miles. I was going to run on the street, but it is torrential rain outside. Obviously, just my luck, torrential rain. So we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna drive to the gym, we're gonna come home, and then the day begins. Okay guys, so that is the four mile run done, and in the bank. It is only quarter to eight, so the day is ahead of us. Got to jump in the sauna now, stretch off, jacuzzi a little bit, then I'm going to head home. So guys, we are back from the gym. I went at 6.30 this morning, and this is the first official day back dieting and back training. Um, not training in camp, just training to go back into camp. Um, because as you've seen on the clip this morning, I weighed 14 stone 10, and that is very heavy considering I fought at 12 stone 12 less than three weeks ago so it is worrying but we're going to get the weight off i've been here before um, and this is the start of that journey so enough talking we have come back from the gym and what's the first thing i want to do eat This is what my breakfast is looking like. I've got my porridge oats there. I've got my black coffee there. Normally I would have some egg whites to go with that, but as I'm cutting some serious weight off, the porridge and the black coffee is all I'm getting. This here has been the breakfast that I've been eating all my life to cut the weight, to lose the weight. After every single session I've ever done in the morning, I've always had this afterwards. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's my motto. So I've got my black coffee, which is scalding hot. That will burn all your lips and gums clean off. So I'm gonna leave that for about 40 minutes to cool down. Alrighty then, so I am gonna show the missus a brand new walk. Um, it's about 10 minutes away from here. Where is it? It is, I can't tell you that because the surprise will go. Oh. So um, we're gonna go for a walk, we're gonna, we're gonna get some lunch and I've got- Where are you gonna take me for lunch? Don't worry about that either. <gasps> I have planned the full day for the missus oh. because she's poorly. Oh, no, not poorly. Well, she's not poorly, but she's been through the wars lately. So yeah, I've planned the full day. I'm going to take her out, have a nice walk. The sun is shining, going to grab some lunch. Got strength and conditioning at 6.30, so I'm going to take you along with me on that. And I'm going to a house viewing. And she's going to a house viewing without me. Lovely. No, because we just can never agree on houses. We're looking at two different types of houses here. I've got a dilemma that I need to speak to you all about, and it's a quick one. Basically, do you guys prefer me with the long combed over hair that I used to have or do you do you guys prefer this haircut let me know in the comments down below because it's something yeah, but this haircut is um it's not it's not fresh right now do you prefer it short or do you prefer it long because we can't decide I, I literally can't decide I like both equally she can't tell me she likes both so you guys let me know in the comments down below so we have come to a place called style woods it's in Wilmslow well it's in style village um and it's a walk that we've not done before, so this should be quite interesting and fun. Maybe you looking forward to it? I was advised to not take a jacket, which I'm severely regretting now because it's actually quite cold. And that's your fault because you told me to not bring one. Of course, guys, everything is always my fault. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Well, yeah, it is a bit chilly. Uh, the sun is out, it's coming out. Oh, it's better now. Yep. That Tommy's gonna take me to lunch. We're gonna go to um, a pub called The Ship. Um, we're gonna have some lunch in there. I'd like a club sandwich, please. She would like a club sandwich. Oh my god, there's apples on that tree. There's apple, go and pick one. Really? Go and pick an apple. Well, there's lovely church. I was like, this is just. So Look, here, here's where we are, guys. Look. So we're here. The church is in the background. Haunted. Do you reckon? I think so, yeah. Let's go. Okay. 
since we both are driving now, we've been driving for a few months, we've not really been walking as much as we want to, so it's nice when we can go on the walks now. My phone is being called. Let's see who could be ringing me while I'm walking through a national park. No caller ID. That's not getting answered. <laughs> this, on a hot day, barbecue there, would absolutely be going off. Why would that be there? This is what I'm saying, this woods is, there's something going on in this woods. Because that has been there for a what you think, do you know why you can tell it's been there for a while? Because when I've lifted it up, there's a mark of it. So that's been there. Oh god, you're right as well. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, that's not been there just now. So that dog is missing. And that owner is missing. It's sticky as well. Yeah, it's just got residue on my fingers. After just 10 minutes of walking, Molly wants to go to the ship <laughs> and have some lunch. I shouldn't have seen the ship before. Because now in my mind, all I'm thinking about is this cosy pub with club sandwiches. Basically, I've drove Take all the way here. Club sandwich. Club sandwich. <laughs> this is my first bit of physical activity since I've had that and that. So I think we're doing not doing too bad. Yeah, we're not doing too bad, but it's a nice place, definitely. Maybe we'll come here for more than 10 minutes next time. We are now in the ship pub in Style Village um, for the missus's lunch because she couldn't wait. What are you laughing at? The way you call me names. The missus's. The missus's. Nice little candle. Nice ambiance. Nice ambiance. And there's the best part about the lunch. Me? Yes. The main course. That eager that you almost forgot. Bad vlogger. I'm real. I think I should have got what Molly got instead because <laughs> she's got a bigger portion and it looks a lot more healthier anyway. So that looks a really good meal. It is really good to be fair. I got a chicken kebab. Not that I've really cut it that well, but um, I'm not going to eat it anyway. So come, we can have some of mine. Me. The family and the missus, we uh, we find ourselves back on the sofa. A big part about boxing and when you're in training camp is getting that rest in between your sessions and there's nothing better to do for rest than putting your feet up and watching some TV. Molly doesn't obviously do this a lot, but she is doing it now and I'm looking after her boyfriend duties. Yeah, you've been good. Is all you got to say? I've been no, good. you've been really good. You've been helpful, although the day I did come out of my operation, that the very night that I was lying there, he did ask me if I would scratch his back and arm. With, and I bear in mind this hand was completely bandaged up and he still wanted me to scratch <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a man's needs are a man's needs. <laughs> For the babies. Yeah, this is the family. Um, Wait, people are going to think we've lost the plot. If anyone's wondering, there's, there's, there's 21 in total. Uh, yeah, there's 21. We collect them. Yeah, and they, come over, they come everywhere with us. So yeah, that's just us guys, our own. the way it is. If you don't like yeah. it, then... Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Molly's got house viewing. I've got strength and conditioning training at 6.30. Okay, so we got here early. I thought there was going to be a load of traffic, but there wasn't. So that's an absolute bonus. I'm really excited to get back in, see where my strength is at, um, and see how I'm performing in this side of the game. Because um, the strength game is a lot different to the actual boxing side. I'm going to jump straight into it. Let's get it. Strength conditioning done, feeling good, first one back into camp, it was hard but we're going to get there. So guys, I have just got back from strength conditioning, it was a very tough session but a session that I needed, I'm feeling absolutely amazing, um, considering it's my first day back, everything went well, feeling still strong, not going to bother um, showing you what I'm going to have to eat now before I go to bed. Number one, personally, because what works for me in my diet and losing weight might not work for you guys. And if you guys want to see a full, you know, full day of eating video, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure it's a proper planned out thing, not just of coming from a session, I'm going to grab a quick something to eat and go to bed. We've got some really exciting things going on. Most of the time, it's a waiting game. You don't really know what's going on. You've got to wait, you've got to, wait to hear from lawyers, promoters, managers. So it really is a long, drawn out thing. But we're in that stage now of waiting. So hopefully, should have some really exciting news by the end of the week. Hope you've really enjoyed today, guys. As I said before, and as I said last time, this is only my second vlog. The vlogging will get better, I promise. But like this video and subscribe, please. And let me know what video you want to see next in the comments below. Cheers, guys.